Hello students hope you all are doing great sorry for making you wait for so long so here we bring to you the next session of the tooth development as already discussed the primary epithelial band it divides into two processes that is the outer process known as the vestibular lamina and the inner process known as the dental lamina we can easily appreciate the developing tongue and here we have the stomodium then we have the oral ectoderm and below that we have the developing ectomesenchyme Now the dental lamina it serves as a primordium for the ectodermal portion of the deciduous teeth. Now here we have the dental lamina that is the developing tooth buds. So first of all we see lingual to the dental lamina we have the developing tongue and buccal to the dental lamina we have the buccal vestibule or the oral vestibule. Now all these tooth buds which can be easily seen first three they are related to the deciduous dentition. and then we have a lingual process to the dental lamina which gives rise to the succedaneous teeth and a distal extension is also there which gives rise to non succedaneous teeth so we have three processes first of all the main dental lamina then we have the lingual process and then we have the distal process now for the vestibular lamina it subsequently hollows out and it forms the oral vestibule between the alveolar portion of the jaws and then the lips and the cheeks Now the important point to be noted here is that the successional lamina is seen in the early bell stage of the tooth development. Here we have the time period for the development of various uh, teeth. First of all we have the permanent central incisor to the second premolar that is the succedaneous teeth they develop from the lingual extension of the dental lamina between the period of 5th month in utero to the 10th month of age. Then we have the non succedaneous teeth which develop from the distal extension of dental lamina. The first molar It starts developing in fourth month in utero, the second molar in first year of age, and the third molar between fourth and fifth year of age. Now, this is a brief summary of the development of dental lamina, as we had already discussed in the video, in the last video, that rupture of the buccopharyngeal mem membrane it results in the connection between the oral cavity and the foregut, and the proliferation of the oral ectoderm gives rise to the primary epithelial band, which is further divided into two: dental lamina and the vestibular lamina. The vestibular lamina gives rise to oral vestibule, and the dental lamina has two processes: first of all, the distal proliferation, then the lingual extension. The distal proliferation gives rise to non-succedaneous teeth, that is the permanent molars, and the lingual extension gives rise to succedaneous teeth. As the teeth continue to develop, they lose their connection with the dental lamina, and these remnants of the dental lamina, these are known as cell rests of series. Now, this is a diagram of the life cycle of the tooth. Here, we divide the life cycle of the tooth. Based on the morphology, first of all, we have the bud stage, cap stage, bell stage. Then, based on the histophysiology, we have at the different stages. First of all, initiation, proliferation, morpho differentiation, and apposition. So, this was the brief summary of the development of dental lamina. In the next video, we'll be continuing with the various stages of tooth development. Thank you.